Hi, my name is Sandy. I'm the owner and licensed esthetician of Brains and Beauty Skincare and Sugaring Studio located in Margate, Florida in the Coral Springs area. So before I start this video, I just wanted to say a big, big thank you to everyone that's been um, liking my videos, leaving comments, asking questions. Um, Thank you so much. It honestly was a bit overwhelming, the response that um, I've been getting. I so appreciate all of you. And um, also a few people have come out um, to try sugaring. And so far it's been a great response. So I'm happy that you all are loving it as well. So um, if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe. Okay, so today I really wanted to discuss exfoliation. Um, now, one thing I do want to mention, the reason why I need my company, Brains and Beauty Skincare and Sugaring, is because I am a big believer on education in every aspect of life, um, especially when it comes to beauty. One thing um, that I do with a first-time client is no matter what we're doing, whether it be a facial, it's um, tanning or sugaring, um, I like to educate you on how to prepare and how to um, take care of your skin after um, any type of treatment. So for example, for you book an appointment and um, for a sugaring, a sugaring appointment, the first thing I'm gonna do is one, of course, confirm and say hello. Um, and the second is I'm gonna send you a prep, a prep and post care sheet. It's gonna be sent to your email. And the biggest emphasis in that is exfoliating and moisturizing. Um, what is exfoliating? And one thing that I do hear a lot is, well, my last person never told me to exfoliate. And um, basically, the goal of overall skin is to have a nice, smooth touch. So really quickly, um, just touch a part of your body. If it's not smooth and you don't have any type of underlying um, health issues or anything like that, your skin should be smooth. If it's not smooth, you're feeling it like kind of feels like braille a bit, um, where it's like a little bumpy or even dry, then you need to create a skincare routine. So basically with exfoliating, what happens is in that process, no matter if you're doing a uh, mechanical exfoliation or chemical exfoliation, the goal of exfoliating is to help um, remove the dead skin. What happens um, after a certain age, um, male and female, we stop shedding skin um, as frequently as children do. So you need to incorporate exfoliating into your skincare routine, whether it be face, body, um, feet, <laughs> all over, you need to be exfoliating at least two to three times a week, depending on your skin type. Um, I do have this amazing product that I carry and so far it's been getting an amazing response. I used it myself and I did bring it today to show you how you use it. It's called Exfoliating Bar in a Jar and it's this cute little blue, like I've never been crazy about blue but I do love a good sky blue and it smells really, really nice. And the great thing about this is it's both mechanical and chemical exfoliation. So it comes with this cute little brush. I love it and I love that it does have a cover. So once I'm done, I rinse it off, let it air dry for a bit and then I keep it closed and away from edge of tubs or um, sink because I don't want it to collect any bacteria because um, that's a great way to um, create any ingrown hairs is getting bacteria in the skin. So. Like I was saying, exfoliating, the exfoliating bar in a jar is very, very simple to use. So I'm just going to show a little example. I feel like a real YouTuber. <laughs> okay, so basically what you do is you wet it. I'm trying not to get it too much. And you literally just put it in a jar, bar in a jar, and lather it up. And it lathers pretty quickly. Oh, that smell. And then you just apply it and small circular motions going towards the heart. So when you're doing your legs, you want to do small circular motions going up. When you're doing your Brazilian, small circular motions. And what I do is I leave it on the skin for a few minutes. 
So this is my mechanical exfoliation and this is the chemical exfoliation. And the great thing about this, it also has um, lactic acid, which is great for, um, for anybody who has any discoloration um, going on in their skin. It's great to help uh, kind of boost it, to give it the boost that it needs to start uh, color correcting. I don't like using the word bleaching because um, with it, it's, it's bleaching the skin is very tough on the skin. With um, lactic acid, it helps color correct it. So very simple, it's actually pretty nice and it looks so smooth right now because I recently <laughs> did sugaring on my arms and I'm obsessed how smooth my arms are. Mind you, I don't have that much hair, but I've never had it this smooth before, so that was exciting. But yeah, not, it's not a lot of pressure. Just going in small circular motions and you can feel it. And you would do this two to three times a week. I recommend starting off with two, see how your skin does. If you need to increase it, then you'll, you can go ahead and increase it. So I'll be back, I'm gonna rinse this off. Okay, so my arm is nice and smooth and it feels really nice. Um, so what I would do after is I would moisturize. Um, I am more of a natural type person, so I do like um, products with more shea in it. Um, it does really well with, um, with all skin types. So I would just moisturize after that. For me, uh, myself, I do personally like to exfoliate at night, um, reason being, you know, the skin is now, you know, if it was closed, it'll be open. So I think it's better um, and safe, like right before you go to bed to do it then. Um, and it would just basically be recovering um, during the evening. Um, but one thing I do want to state is what I usually do is before when I'm ready to reapply, instead of putting it directly back in there, I like to rinse it off first because I just prefer not to contaminate with you know using a dirty brush and putting in there so i would rinse it before um i would try and do the exfoliation again so now that i've explained to you what exfoliation is and how to do it i want to explain the importance of exfoliating prior to your sugaring appointment so basically our goal is to free the hair from the dead skin um, so we want to get as much hair as possible but if it's trapped under dead skin it's impossible to take it out without me having to pick at your skin and it's an uncomfortable feeling. So exfoliating prior to your appointment helps us get the best results for the most smoothest skin. Um, so please, if you have any other questions or if there's anything that I can clarify about exfoliating prior to your appointment, sugaring appointment, um, please go ahead and leave a comment below or feel free to send me a message. Um, and if you're in the South Florida area, definitely come and stop by. Remember, we're in the Margate Coral Springs area. Thank you so much. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye.